Hello and welcome to Animal Watch. <laughs> and today we're getting upside down with dogs. My dog's just dragged her butt on my <laughs> yoga mat. Today I'm at the beautiful kingdom in West Kent, where nature, health and fitness merge into one. I've always been a great lover of yoga, so when I found out there was a way of doing it with my other most favourite thing in life, canines, and I couldn't wait to find out how. What is Doga? Doga is yoga for you and your dog. And I specifically say for you, I stress this because it is human yoga. In fact, actually, it's just yoga. It's human yoga. You take your practice and you allow the dog to be incorporated without actually doing much. Yeah, because I can imagine when people hear doga, mm. the first thing they think is dog yoga, don't they? Which of course is not the case. And they think that you're sitting there bending your dog around in all different directions. Absolutely. And I don't think dogs really appreciate that much, do they? They don't, and it does exist actually, dog yoga. And that's not what I do. Mine is doga, so it's human yoga and we allow the dog to be incorporated when the dog is willing to engage, okay. when he's willing to be on the mat. So what does the dog get out of it, as well as what the humans, because of course we know I love yoga very much, um, and I'm relaxed and I feel wonderful and it stretches everything. What does the dog get from that as well? Well, I want to do some scientific research studies on this actually, but I firmly believe that a dog actually benefit, benefits as much as the human from the practice by absorbing your calm. Because they are directly entwined with our central nervous system, just like mummy and baby yoga. They smell you, they see your movement, they see the change of breathing, um, body language, and I think that can be an extremely de-stressing time mm. for a dog to read you differently and not worry about you so much. You're in the present moment and not distracted with mobile phones or television because we say, oh, I'm spending a lot of time with your dog. Do you really spend time with your dog? Yeah, mm. walking your dog is one thing. Playing ball is another thing. But doing yeah. yoga, it's like a two-way system and it's symbiotic yeah. and organic. So what do I need to do with her first? Okay, first of all, we're going to start with the basics is breathing. So we're going to start our practice with an opening mantra. So what will happen now is you're changing air and sound, so they're going to start licking your face, and that's what we want. I know it's weird, you get a lot of French kisses in Doga. Have your dog here. You can start doing side stretches, just keeping massaging your dog and then inhaling, taking the alternate arm up. Uh, you have your dog in front of you, like yeah. this. And then you just lift their uh, front paws and you just release their back legs. So you extend their paws for this upward paw, yeah. Now keep the palms of your hands flat underneath their elbow joints so they extend. They do a natural flexion. There we go. And you can breathe into them again, inhaling. And releasing child's pose. And now tuck your arms into the side and just take a child's pose rest and relax into the body just to see how it affects you when you're relaxing. Just release. I think um, Robbie's enjoying the yoga a little bit too much. It's tantric yoga now. And we're just going to do Om Shanti Come Shanti cool. Shanti. <laughs> 
never going to be a serious thing. Great, my dog's just dragged her butt on my yoga mat. <laughs> but they do love Yeah, for everyone's information, I do worm my dogs. It's her anal glands, okay? So I don't want to put my face on that now. She, Zora, you've put your bottom on my yoga mat. I've got to put my face on that now. Are you serious? I'll tell you what I've always wanted to do, a yeah. downward dog with a dog. Oh, yes. Can we do a downward dog yes. with a dog? Let's do that. So, downward dog with a dog. Again, here I use my breathing practice. So when I do my downward dog, I just do the to get the dog interested. With Zara, I don't know, so just so she might run away if I do this. Just do, yeah, just do the downward dog on top of her very gently, spread your fingers apart, and just do it on top of her. She will love it. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if she love it. <laughs> Incredible, there you see, Doga's just started. So ju just keep massaging her uh, belly because they love that. That's a very strong submission. And just the fact that she now allowed you to go into submission pose with me, with everything that's going on, it's, she's already absorbed that you've changed something yeah. within you. Because you, when the penny drops, that's when they start releasing. I've had so much fun. What are your chances, do you think, of doing some doga with my wolf? I think we can try. I think every dog for me is a dogie. Here is... The wolf dog. The wolf dog. Yeah. Hello. Here to do yoga for probably the first time mm. in the world, maybe. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> if your wolf or your wolf dog's done yoga, write it in the box below. <laughs> See, this is love. great because I can just lean on her yeah. now and not do this anything. Is what I'm <laughs> Large dogs. This is the whole thing. This is the great thing. Yeah. I'm very so dog. <sighs> That's so stuff. great. Very nice. Right over your dog, enjoy your hamstring straight, right over, your, just hang in there. You can be as <laughs> graceful as you want to, really connect, connect, breathe. Use your dog as your bolster. Bringing the soles of the feet around. I, you know, can you bring butterfly? <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay, so why don't we just take open legs, wide open legs. Okay, and just press forward, front paws, front paws, front paws. Lift the front paws I'm up and push forward. Yes, that's the pose. And now bring your hands around the heart chakra. There you go, you like go. This. That's the pose. Ah, oh, this is like the best heart opener here. You can be there with your dog forever. Is that nice, Kimmy? Mm. Of the legs. Is that there therapeutic? She looks very relaxed in her face Should right I now. Chant? Um... Well, I feel really relaxed. I feel really tired. And um, I've had a double session now because we've, we've had Zora and now we've had Kumi. But no, it's fantastic. And of course, you do doga classes, don't you, in London? and um, you're going to be spreading out all over the, the, the country eventually. And of course, Money, you, she's appeared on many different television programs, haven't you? Britain's, yes. Britain's got Britain's talent. Got talent. Britain, he has talent. And <laughs> some of the morning TV shows yeah. as well and everything. So yes, Money's really well known when it comes to her doga. And if you'd like to find out about classes with Money <laughs> and the doga, what's the website that you should go to? www dogamahani.com Also a big thanks to Kingdom for allowing us to film Doga in beautiful surroundings. Kingdom is a rural hub for all manner of fitness pursuits as well as having a cycling track, daily yoga and a health food cafe all in beautiful Kent countryside near to Tunbridge Wells. To find out more you can visit their website here www.thiskingdom.co.uk if you enjoyed this rather strange episode, but very, very fun episode, then give me a big like and subscribe to my channel where I'll be bringing you fantastic films every week on dogs, wolves, animal conservation and animal rescue. If you hit the alarm bell by the subscription button, then you will be notified when a new episode is released. Bye for now.